Hello everyone and welcome to English with Nino. If you are an entrant, then this video will be useful for you. Mogi sama bit walas da ketili kosko ni mal jani ba English or zani nus tanertad. Tu kar ta bit orient mas shin es video ot kontu isasar ke bloik neba. Dresh mukta azept orienta strami dit English me ore variant is pirwal da wale bas musasmes sadat stkuen unta kaets not. Pirveli davale bist ina piropas. Task one. You are going to listen to five texts. Tkuen moismant hut texts. For each of them answer the two questions given. Titol matkani satvis up asuhet orkitwas romilt motemulia. An motemul orkitwas. Mark the correct answer A, B or C. Monishnet story basuhi A, B and C. You have 20 seconds to look through the questions. Kakt otit amirum kadahedot gatehubs. You will then hear the recording twice. Shemdak chanet ers moisment orgel. Mash su box huti texti. Dat quenunda moismino tito ole madgani or orgel. Tito text aus ori gatehua. Da tito ole gatehua. Tito kulit paste baserum hutger ori. Ati kula gekne ba ta mosas menshi tuki kola stores gaget. Chuan e sajaro informatia erta de mimo vichilet polo shi shemukta wazet stor baso khebs magram isev zaushlit radgan arka wazar matot kovili akhalim smeneli. Talian arki sashuale ba rom ivar tishot zaushli dan kausulelo tak utaro narchwebze smeni tu narchwebze da amav drolat arda gavit odet tuki gijert musmena da sit kabis argat gage ba chal artet subtitrebi. Romelts YouTube mods ko bilo bas kaj nije te zara čo ule priju sa švale ba amšem trovaši. Da kordi da je kaj zameps. Amšem trovaši čo en guak se trut met i da ormozet hramet zamijani. Mosa smeni azero. Tek su met zutijani mosa smeni guak su. Ta visi orori mo smenit. Da kordi da ma trovlat švale deb ši sa nam trovaši. Tekst ertxal rum zai kitxas speakeri. Me ore tunda kai me ore sta mašinat sta hlo bit hutit ami zogjer švidit ami a šualedi. Me ore tekst zero ta kadeva uprometi a šualedi da sak utari unar čove bi kam gajum džobeset. Ola sak utari stili gagvačnija, ami dom ecadet hširat mo usminot. Da maksimal urat tkveni stili... Gamo i mušao, ta je mu načo je bist estis kazake te blad. Da vidz god. Inglis suri je nis testis ko smo iz da oleba. Me ore varianti. Inglis suri je nis testis ko smo iz da oleba. Me ore varianti. Task 1. Listening. You are going to listen to 5 texts. For each of them, answer the two questions given. Mark the correct answer A, B, or C. You have 20 seconds to look through the questions. You will then hear the recording twice. When I was a boy and I first read the novel, The Lord of the Rings, I dreamt of visiting the places created by J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of the novel. I was excited by the magical world where hobbits, elves, wizards, and my hero, Frodo Baggins, lived. And finally, I now have found all the places described in the book, here in New Zealand the country where all those magical places come to life. Peter Jackson, the director of the Lord of the Rings films, was born in Wellington, the capital city of New Zealand. When Peter Jackson was looking for places to make the fantastic worlds he needed for his films, he knew where to look. It's amazing that New Zealand has all kinds of views. You can see a lot of it in the three films. The people I met in New Zealand are proud of their country's starring role in the films. They say that the film made their small country very popular, which is true because immediately after the third film won 11 Oscars in 2004, the number of tourists who visited New Zealand went up by 
For me, this unforgettable holiday is my childhood dream come true, a tour of the amazing worlds of the Lord of the Rings. When I was a boy and I first read the novel The Lord of the Rings, I dreamt of visiting the places created by J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of the novel. I was excited by the magical world where hobbits, elves, wizards, and my hero, Frodo Baggins, lived. And finally, I now have found all the places described in the book, here in New Zealand, the country where all those magical places come to life. Peter Jackson, the director of the Lord of the Rings films, was born in Wellington, the capital city of New Zealand. When Peter Jackson was looking for places to make the fantastic worlds he needed for his films, he knew where to look. It's amazing that New Zealand has all kinds of views. You can see a lot of it in the three films. The people I met in New Zealand are proud of their country's starring role in the films. They say that the film made their small country very popular, which is true because immediately after the third film won 11 Oscars in 2004, the number of tourists who visited New Zealand went up by 8%. For me, this unforgettable holiday is my childhood dream come true, a tour of the amazing worlds of the Lord of the Rings. Ray Collins, an award-winning ocean photographer, is a coal miner by profession. For the last nine years, Ray has spent every spare moment in water with a camera in hand. The now famous photographer started taking photos quite by chance after receiving a bad knee injury down a coal mine. Because of the injury, he couldn't walk for six months, so he started taking photos of his friends surfing the ocean. Then Ray Collins' doctor suggested swimming for recovery. Following his doctor's advice, Ray Collins began taking photos in the water and realized how much he loved it. Now he feels more at home swimming in the sea with his camera than anywhere on land. Most of Ray Collins' photos are taken in his native Australia, but his wish to find the perfect wave has taken him as far away as Hawaii, Indonesia and even Iceland. When looking at the rich colors in his pictures, it's hard to believe that this photographer was born completely colorblind, meaning that he can't see the difference between colors. But once he's in the water, there's no one better at taking photos of the beauty of the ocean. Ray Collins, an award-winning ocean photographer, is a coal miner by profession. For the last nine years, Ray has spent every spare moment in water with a camera in hand. The now famous photographer started taking photos quite by chance after receiving a bad knee injury down a coal mine. Because of the injury, he couldn't walk for six months, so he started taking photos of his friends surfing the ocean. Then Ray Collins' doctor suggested swimming for recovery. Following his doctor's advice, Ray Collins began taking photos in the water and realized how much he loved it. Now he feels more at home swimming in the sea with his camera than anywhere on land. Most of Ray Collins' photos are taken in his native Australia. But his wish to find the perfect wave has taken him as far away as Hawaii, Indonesia and even Iceland. When looking at the rich colors in his pictures, it's hard to believe that this photographer was born completely colorblind, meaning that he can't see the difference between colors. But once he's in the water, there's no one better at taking photos of the beauty of the ocean. In the center of Washington, D.C., there is a museum of news called the Newseum. The impressive glass building of the museum was designed by architect James Polshak and cost $450 million to build. Since its opening in 2008, more than 7 million people have visited the museum, which is dedicated to free speech and free press. The museum presents a collection of as many as 35,000 historic newspapers dating back nearly 500 years and tells the stories of journalists, editors, and photographers 
who have lost their lives while covering the news. The museum dedicates part of its space to a gallery on the terrorist attacks which took place in New York on September 11, 2001. The museum is also home to large sections of the Berlin Wall, the former barricade between East and West Berlin. The sections of the wall have colorful graffiti on the western side and are painted in white on the eastern side. The museum also has a gallery which has a copy of every photo that has ever won the Pulitzer Prize, a prestigious American award for achievements in journalism. This amazing museum reminds you of the true value and power of journalism and free speech. In the center of Washington, D.C., there is a museum of news called the Newseum. The impressive glass building of the museum was designed by architect James Polshak and cost $450 million to build. Since its opening in 2008, more than 7 million people have visited the museum, which is dedicated to free speech and free press. The museum presents a collection of as many as 35,000 historic newspapers dating back nearly 500 years and tells the stories of journalists, editors, and photographers who have lost their lives while covering the news. The museum dedicates part of its space to a gallery on the terrorist attacks which took place in New York on September 11, 2001. The museum is also home to large sections of the Berlin Wall, the former barricade between East and West Berlin. The sections of the wall have colorful graffiti on the western side and are painted in white on the eastern side. The museum also has a gallery which has a copy of every photo that has ever won the Pulitzer Prize, a prestigious American award for achievements in journalism. This amazing museum reminds you of the true value and power of journalism and free speech. During the Middle Ages, books were written mostly in monasteries, by hand. Often, the monks would work from morning until night, and sometimes could write no more than one page a day. So it took a long time to create handwritten books. As a result, books were very expensive. Then, in 1450, an invention changed the world. In the German city of Mainz, Johannes Gutenberg introduced a new technique of book printing. He invented the printing press, a machine that could print books. Now, books could be produced cheaply and quickly. And because books became easier to buy, a much larger number of people began to learn how to read and write. Using this improved process, Gutenberg printed a complete Bible in 1455. This Bible was the first major book ever printed. Gutenberg's revolutionary invention changed communication as knowledge and education spread throughout Europe like never before. By 1470, the printing press had spread to 14 cities in Europe and to 100 cities by 1480. Before 1500, more than 9 million books had been printed throughout Europe. Art and science began to flourish, which led to the beginning of the Renaissance, the time of new art and new ideas. During the Middle Ages, books were written mostly in monasteries, by hand. Often, the monks would work from morning until night, and sometimes could write no more than one page a day. So it took a long time to create handwritten books. As a result, books were very expensive. Then, in 1450, an invention changed the world. In the German city of Mainz, Johannes Gutenberg introduced a new technique of book printing. He invented the printing press, a machine that could print books. Now, books could be produced cheaply and quickly. And because books became easier to buy, a much larger number of people began to learn how to read and write. Using this improved process, Gutenberg printed a complete Bible in 1455. This Bible was the first major book ever printed. Gutenberg's revolutionary invention changed communication, 
as knowledge and education spread throughout Europe like never before. By 1470, the printing press had spread to 14 cities in Europe and to 100 cities by 1480. Before 1500, more than 9 million books had been printed throughout Europe. Art and science began to flourish, which led to the beginning of the Renaissance, the time of new art and new ideas. The Georgian language is one of the oldest in the world. It has its own alphabet and differs from any other language. There are three systems of writing, the Mechedruli, used in daily life, and the older scripts of Asomtavruli and Nuskuri, which are used especially for writings in the Georgian Orthodox Church. According to some historians, in the 3rd century BC, Parnavaz, the first king of Kartli, created the Asomtavruli alphabet after the Greek model, which eventually shaped into something uniquely Georgian. The first known example of Asomta Vruli was discovered in 1959 on a mosaic of the Georgian church built by Peter Iberi in 430 AD near Bethlehem in Palestine. Another early Asomta Vruli writing was found in the southeast of Georgia on the church of Bolnisi Sioni, which dates back to 494 AD. As for the oldest examples of the modern Georgian script, called Mechedruli, they date back to the 11th and 12th centuries, the period known as the Georgian Golden Age. In 2016, the Georgian alphabet was added to UNESCO's cultural heritage list because of its unique character. The Georgian language is one of the oldest in the world. It has its own alphabet and differs from any other language. There are three systems of writing, the Mechedruli, used in daily life, and the older scripts of Asomtavruli and Nuskuri, which are used especially for writings in the Georgian Orthodox Church. According to some historians, in the 3rd century BC, Parnavaz, the first king of Kartli, created the Asomtavruli alphabet after the Greek model, which eventually shaped into something uniquely Georgian. The first known example of Asomta Vruli was discovered in 1959 on a mosaic of the Georgian church built by Peter Iberi in 430 AD near Bethlehem in Palestine. Another early Asomta Vruli writing was found in the southeast of Georgia on the church of Bolnisi Sioni, which dates back to 494 AD. As for the oldest examples of the modern Georgian script, called Mechedruli, they date back to the 11th and 12th centuries, the period known as the Georgian Golden Age. In 2016, the Georgian alphabet was added to UNESCO's cultural heritage list because of its unique character. Speakers from This is the end of the listening section. Mosmenis davale pa dasrule bolia. Imediat kargat gaer koye trom zogir chum tchovashi sami web asuhi moyaz reba tekchi mosas menshi magram storym kholot irtiya romil tara sodes kamoy rit reba te estkun imedi maksrom kargat itit mash irverita meore kitkhis pasuhe bi kahlot. C da B to asika ketet kilot saut to arada khmeuret tsadet am jerat mogitsaut rat kma unda pasukhe ukwa itsit magram mogitsaut meti konsentratsia gaaketot imaze to ratom aris agnishnoli pasukhebis tsore ratom chaitwala es pasukhebis tsorat Ahla shem degi variant if nahot is our shallotrum Argavazarmat so to shem degi msmenili. Mesame 
და მე ოთხი პასუხები. გახლავთ C და მე ოთხი A. თუ ასე გავთ. გილოცავთ და თუ არა ხელ მეორედ მოუსმინეთ მოსასმენს და გააკეთეთ კონცენტრაცია იმაზე თუ რატომ უნდა იყოს ეს პასუხები სწორი იქნებ კარგად ვერ გაიგეთ რა წავშალოთ მესამე ტექსტის მეხუთე და მეექვსე კითხვის პასუხები გახლავთ A და მეექვსე კითხვის პასუხი გახლავთ C გილოცავ თუ სწორად გააკეთეთ თუ არა გული არ დაიწყვიტოთ გაქვთ წინ კიდევ დრო და მოემზადეთ მაქსიმალურად საკუთარ თავზე იმუშავე დამუშავე საკუთარი სმენითი უნარჩვევები და ჩეხება მე შვიდეს და მერვეს პასუხები A და პასუხი B გახლავთ სწორე ალბათ ზოგს გიხარიათ ზოგს გული წლდებათ მაგრამ ვიმეორებ თქვენ გაქვთ საკმარისი დრო რომ საკუთარ თავზე იმუშავოთ მოუსმინეთ ვიდეოს რამდენჯერ გინდათ საკუთარი უნარჩვევები ა გაწაფეთ და ის რაც თქვენთვის კარგია შეიძლება სხვისთვის არ იყოს მისაღები ამიტომ საკუთარი სტილი შეარჩიეთ მოსმენის დავალების შესრულებისა როგორ უფრო გიოლდებათ ჯერ კითხვებს გაეცნოთ მოცემულ ორ გამგებულ კითხვას პირველად მოსასმენში ჯერ მთლიანად კითხვებს გაეცნოთ და გაიაზროთ და მეორე მოსასმენის დროს გააკეთოთ გადაწყვეტილება და არჩევანი თუ გერჩევნიათ რომ პირველი ტექსტზე მონიშნოთ და მეორე ტექსტზე ჩაასწოროთ რამდენად კარგად გააკეთეთ აღნიშნული დავალება მაშ მეცხრე და მეათე A და C ამ პასუხსაც წავშლი აღნიშნული დავალების შემთხვევაში თქვენ ათი ქულა გექნებათ რადგან თითო კითხვაზე თითო ქულა მოცემული კითხვების რაოდენობას უფრო სწორად წუთების და წამების რაოდენობას მიაქციეთ ყურადღება ზოგჯერ მოსასმენი პლიუს მინუს ერთი წუთი შეიძლება იყოს მეტი ან ნაკლები მეორე ვარიანტის მოსასმენზე და ჩვენ კიდევ დავდებთ სხვა მოსასმენის ვარიანტებს თავისი პასუხებით გაუზიარე იგი შენს მეგობრებს იმედ სადინეთ მე წარმატებას გისურვებთ და ალბათ დაგეხმარებით ასე და ბედნიერი ვიქნები თუ ამას შევძლებთ ბაი